right, we move on to our co-main event for the evening. Another banger. Another banger. Banger, so many bangers. Oh got my a UFC event in this one. I am gonna try and hold this. We have a banger for this co-main event between Ali Zabian and Peter Barrett. As you all know, the tail of the tape for this fight, which is coming up after you guys do your announcements. I'm not gonna be here for the tail of the tape. I'll be in cage for it. But it's sponsored by Dapper Dangerous. Ken Moy's styling company, which has helped all of us improve our looks and styles with incredible coaching. So check out Dapper Dangerous, give Ken Moy a buzz, and get your suits outright. Ali Zabian, five and two, looking to use this fight to propel him as a top prospect in New England over the UFC veteran Peter Barrett, looking to climb back into the big show. An incredible co-main event. Gentlemen, have fun calling this one. I'm just gonna announce and watch in awe from the background. Yeah, I mean, for Ali, this is an amazing opportunity. You know, you get a win over Peter Bear. You just got a win over a guy who just came out of the UFC, won his Contender Series fight. So, I mean, this is a massive opportunity for him. And let's not forget, Peter Bear coming off a loss, but he was dominating that fight with Chase Hooper. Chase Hooper went for a Hail Mary, and he happened to connect. If we look at the performance before that, he was up 210 rounds on a legit UFC prospect going forward. This is not an easy fight for Ali or Peter. Ali has such explosive hands. He is coming to hurt and take your head off. But as we all know, calculated violence for Peter. He has become so much more calm and so much more purposeful with the things that he does while he fights. It's so great to watch him flow. I love him. He's a brother of mine. I'm a little biased. But I know the challenge that he has presented with Ali here. This is a big fight for him. Somebody that will be in his face the whole time trying to take his head off. If there's going to be a fight at night candidate to, uh, for, for this whole card, guys, I've been waiting for this fight for, for weeks now. Man, and it's like a homecoming for this guy. Yep, you know, after sure. traveling the world fighting, now he's back at Plymouth Memorial Hall where he got most of his cage fighting experience and he is ready to put on a show for the home crowd. You know, the last time we saw Ali Zabian step into this cage, he played spoiler against Brandon Fleming. Brandon Fleming being one of the top prospects in New England. Ali Zabian coming to us from Western Mass. He hasn't fought at Cage Shetons too many times, but every time he comes, he shows up to play spoiler. Peter Barrett, he's a Cage Titans guy. He's been here for a long time. He made it to the UFC. He's back here, and he needs, to, he needs a statement win if he's ever going to get back to the big stage. And you know what? I don't even think it's about being in the big show for, for Peter. I think that he just has a love for what he does. This really brings him peace. Um, getting the big show was obviously something that is on his mind, but right now I know that he's very focused on the challenge in front of him and looking beyond that would be would be risky because Ali is a legitimate threat to anybody in this division and to think otherwise would just be ignorant and uh, and honestly a mistake. And so, back fighting at 155, I know that his fights in the UFC were at 145. 45, yep. Um, and I think he looks, you know, fulfilled at 155. I, I, feel, always I feel like it's like more of a more natural weight class for him. I agree with that. I think that 45, not to say that it took a, a major tool away from him. I just think it may have taken a little bit of the pop from his punches because he made 45 absolutely fine. He is very, very strict with his diet. Um, I think 55 was the better move. It's, like you said, it's a more, more natural weight class for him. He retains his power. He doesn't have to worry about so much about the weight cut rather than just fighting. And when Peter is just focused on doing his thing, there's All nobody right. that can touch him. All right, All right take a look the at the tail of the tape. The older man, Peter Barrett, 34. Both guys 156. Taller guy, 5'10", Peter Barrett, and he will have the reach advantage. Five-inch reach. we'll take it to Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, one quick reminder to join us at the after party at Tavern on the Wharf across the street immediately following the main event where we will be showing UFC 264. Now, without further ado, we're taking you to the co-main event of the was, evening. A professional lightweight matchup scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner with a professional record of five victories and two defeats. He stands five feet five inches tall and he weighed in at 155 pounds. From Westfield, Massachusetts, he's representing underground MMA. Let's hear it for VIP Ali Zabian. 
And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with a professional record of 11 victories and five defeats. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 156 pounds. From Abington, Massachusetts, he represents Sipyotong and Lozon MMA. Let's hear it for Slippery Pete, Peter Barrett. Oh my God, I can't contain my excitement. And our fight. referee in charge of the action when this contest begins is Alan Lau. All right. I'm going to try and contain myself, gentlemen. Peter Barrett, a close personal friend and brother of mine. So I'm a little silent here, a little bit uh, jumpy. Ali Please said I'm all me. set with the hand touch. He just wants to get straight to business. Peter Barrett in the multicolored green, Zabian in the black. Boy, it's got both guys coming out. Nice, good check, and a uh, good kick from uh, Ali coming out. That reach of Peter is going to be something for Ali to have to overcome here. You know, I think it's interesting that Ali already circling to the power side of Peter Barrett. I think he'd be smart to try and keep his foot on the outside. To indicate he's not used to going against uh, lefties. Oh. Going towards that right side just might be a natural incident. He is going for that front inside leg kick a lot. Came out, started with that. Ooh. Another left hand for Peter. He's landed that about two or three times. Nice return from Ali there. Pete's working that left hand early. Ali's going to, going to town on that front leg. I think he's going to try and make Peter a little bit more stationary so he doesn't have to worry about the angles so much. Peter, there it is. Nice. Good fake to the bottom there. Pete does such a great job of using that jab, just kind of as a way to gauge distance. He's going to use his range real well, using that two real well. I've been to the other side of that two a couple of times, knocked my head back. Me and Slippery Pete have been through several gym wars, and I felt the power of that left hand. Ooh, they're talking to each other now. That's okay, I like that, I like that. <clears throat> Check for Peter, that was good on the inside. Oh. Ali doing a good job tenderizing Ooh. those legs. I think Ali would be smart to try and start fainting more as a way to get on the inside because if he's having a tough time already kind of breaking that length. As a smaller gentleman myself, Shane, maybe you understand this. Actually, Richie, you'd get this. Fighting yeah. a taller guy, you're gonna have to use your footwork. Standing right in front of him is just never gonna work. Side to side movement is definitely the way that Ali wants to go. It seems like his game plan here is to touch the front leg of Peter and make him stationary. <laughs> Peter's tough. gonna play a little bit of mind games here. He likes to do that, loves to have fun in the cage. Let's see if it affects Ali at all. But again, doing a good job tenderizing that front leg. Maybe just make Peter stationary so he doesn't have to move around as much, can't avoid his big bombs. Ooh. Ali's been able to slip those punches. Very measured first minute and a half of this fight. Oh, watch out. The big, uh, that hook coming into something Peter's got to work out for. Oh, oh and kick up, and kick up. That nice landed. Job. Nice setup from Peter. He set that up a couple of combinations ago. Nice right hand. That, reach, that reaches the story here. Great job from both areas. He's just out of range of that big hook. Hits him with that, with that lead uh, pause. That, ooh, ooh. stumble, bumping ooh. his knees a little stumble. bit there. That was a good move. Oh, oh, nice oh, left, nice hand. left hand. Close to the shot. And on the shot is Zabian. He's in on the leg. That was a great job. Great timing on that. And Peter's Pete is be stuffing careful. him here. He's got to be careful. Work on the takedown defense. Don't worry about the strike so much. I think Pete thinks he's got him hurt. Track stands for Pete is the best idea here. He knows how to defend takedowns. Ooh. Nice, turn him out, turn him out. Nice, Very job. nice. Good sprawl. Way to plant and get his feet back up, get his base under him. Try Ali. to sink that wizard in there on that side as well. And he's got the opposite rest he's underneath. Really, he's making real Ali like really work for this, for this takedown. Ali's staying committed to it, which is good, but you got to be careful. He's not going to uh, gas himself out and put a lot of blood in those muscles as he's coming out. Yeah, he's working really hard, and Ali it does look like the smaller guy here. Nice he's got bigger, on the he's definitely gauge. a little thicker, so the blood to those muscles Ooh, is going nice to go be a little bit more than I would say Peter Ooh. says. Oh, nice jab by Ali. He's got to be careful coming in. They're both landing singular strikes here. Peter is landing that left hand, but Ooh. Ali has landed that left hook nice as left. Peter comes in a couple of times here. I like that level change feint, but I think you oh, hit it on the nose. Hand. They're both just throwing There's single shots. Left. I'd really like to see them start throwing in combinations. Pete's starting to land with the left at will. I think all Ali's throwing right now is that left hook. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice takedown. Great nice timing. Shot. Good scramble. Nice job. Way to get the underhook right back up with Peter Bear. 
Good yeah, answer that, for not Alito. Not any time getting to and he did a great job of not settling. A lot of times the issue is when you get taken down, you settle, and then it's so much harder to get up. If you can get taken down and then get right on your hip and get up, it's so much easier. And not to, not to harp on the last fight, but that's kind of what we saw in the last fight. Sean Lally got taken down, kind of accepted the position he was in, and by the time he went to fight it, it was a little bit too late. Peter, as soon as his hip hits the ground, he's popping right back up, going for the underhook, trying to get his feet. Yeah, and, that, and that's the, uh, a testament to uh, Pete's wrestling background. And that, that shot, it's not like it was a bad shot. Ali had a great shot there, great timing. He knows what he's looking for. Uh, watch out for that left hook, just like I said, lead hook coming up. Oh, switches stances heavy leg for Ali. Hit. Ali switching stances a little bit. You know, I think Ali would be smart to keep going back to that leg because it's hard to handle the pressure oh. of Peter Barry. You could slow him oh. down with the leg yeah, kicks. What did I say earlier? Oh. Oh, be careful now. They're oh. trading. See, Ali keeping his hands down to try and go. There it is. Very oh. interesting first and round. round. That was a good round. And Ali Ali's is here to entertain for sure. Ali got the takedown. Peter definitely, uh, definitely uh, dominated on the feet here. It's an interesting round to score because he did get two takedowns. He did get Peter to the mat, but Peter was definitely more effective on the feet. Yeah, and he he really started to work that left hand. He was landing it at well. He landed many times, and it hurt Ali a few times. That leg kick definitely landed for Ali as well. I want to see, because he's hitting not just the inside, but the outside of that leg, which makes the structural integrity of that leg much harder to move side to side on. It's very hard to plant your leg. So when you can't plant your weight on that foot, it's you have much less on your punches. On top of, it's much harder for him to move, making it easier for Ali to make his angles and get on the inside for the striking exchanges. Otherwise, completely good round. I, I, it's very hard to score. I'm gonna give that one to very 10-9 to, to Peter for pressure and maybe just effective striking. But Ali is still timing his takedowns. He's still getting shots in. He did hit Peter as he came in with that overhand hook. You know what I mean? He's just still clipping him. It's not, it's not out of reach. Yeah, and, Peter, and it he, seemed to me that Pete was able to control the distance in that fight. Ali was struggling to get inside, and Pete was landing some very economic strikes as Ali was coming in. Ali finding some success later in the round with the shoots and some of the leg kicks, but uh, Pete showing that he is the veteran in there. Big smile on Peter Barrett's face as he comes back out, having a good time in there. That's the name of the game, Andy. Honestly, it's it's that control, it's that distance. You know what I mean? If, if Peter can keep his distance, or if Ali can defeat the distance that he has with the reach, then he can get in on Peter. That's the name of the game here. If Ali stands in front of Peter the way he is currently, he's just gonna be a walking target for Peter. But if he can move side to side, maybe even alter that leg like he was before, just like that, going back to that leg, maybe he can get some shots on the angles. We'll see how it is. But he cannot stand in front of Peter Barrett. That left hand is landing a, a, a hole for it. Which yeah, and I think we're really seeing a more mature Peter Barrett here. You know, back in the day, he was super aggressive and was always throwing, you know, big kicks, big punches, but he learned a lot in his UFC stint. Absolutely. And you see it here in the maturity of it. Even as far as his last cage I fight with uh, Desab, with De Sabatino, you saw him, he was just going reckless abandonment, just trying to just trying to beat the brakes off of a tough Desab and going, literally throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him. Ali presents a different kind of threat to him, but he's much more measured. He's been very calm, going position to position. Oh, nice oh great oh, takedown by great Ali. Great from Ali right there. And that's what Zabian needs. He needs to get him to the ground. He needs to grind him. Keep this control. Maybe get as much damage as he can on the ground. Peter doing a great job. This is what I mean by wall walk. Get that cage. Yes. And just like that, he's right back just up. Just like that. This oh, he's got a cut on his eye, though. Oh, oh nice yeah. overhand by Ali. Top. That was a good takedown. Uh, Ali in a good position here. When Ali has those like flurries of a rush and he goes in, it'd be really See smart of him to finish that right with a there. kick. He's coming over the top of that left hand. He's switching stances, but what he's doing is, is he's altering. He's going sideways as he throws that hook. So he's not going straight into Peter's left hand. It's clipping him over the top as he oh, comes there. Nice I, slip. I like Ali integrating that level change shot. Now that he landed at a big takedown, that level change feint is going to be really effective. Yep, absolutely. That's I mean, he's probably he's timing it perfectly. Every time he wants to get on Peter's steps, he's doing it. Peter's standing kind of sideways almost. It almost seems like a karate stance. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he, he slipped there and he gave him a he right hand on the way down. Ali, I, you know, I don't follow that up. You know, I don't know what the, the new fangled style of rocking your opponent oh. and just standing there is. Or even hurting your opponent and standing there is. I'm not sure of that. Sabian is really starting to turn it up here. Yep, he's finding it. There it is. See, Great nice, job. Big nice takedown. entry, nice entry. Very strong as Sabian. Right against the broad-ass Nice track stance from Peter Barrett, pushing the head down. Good wizard. 
Yeah, that's great. Excellent job. Xavier trying to fight into a different position, trying to transition. Peter doing a great job with his forearm to, to frame here and whiz her away. He can push that head down. He's got nothing. It's really hard to finish that shot when someone's pushing your head. He needs to address that first before he tries to, to grab the legs. Absolutely. Absolutely. And great job by Peter getting his legs, his head back up to the side. Xavier just kind of leaning on him, going for wrist control, almost like a resting position, but there's not much he can get from here. He can shoot or he can disengage. But right now it's just about control because he's not really hurting Peter at all. Good control for Peter. Peter needs to get out. Peter needs to not stay here and be complacent in this position because although Xavier isn't doing much, he is controlling the pace of the fight. Being up against the Oh, cage. nice crotch lock. Oh! And a power ball! Oh, is this a WWE? Are you kidding me? It's the WWE. That was The Undertaker. Ah, I just saw he the a power bomb. Uh, he hit The Undertaker. That was a legitimate that power bomb line. in mixed martial arts. Oh, God. Cut that. That's a highlight. Put Somebody it on SportsCenter. Put that on ESPN Sports right now. SportsCenter. Plays of the week. Oh, nice entry from Xavier. He might get it back. Nice defense from, from Peter. Did this man just pick him up and power bomb him? I think yes. he did. I think he did. I've never seen it. I'm calling for a rock bottom next. <laughs> All right, Ali really needs to focus on head position here. Keeping his head over there by the side of the cage isn't going to help him do anything. He needs to get his head underneath Peter's chin. That way he can really start trying to advance his position or maybe even get some dirty boxing in. Good wrist control from Peter here. He's doing a great job preventing. He's not He's not wrestling back. He's just anti-wrestling here. Xavier not doing much to actually improve the position. It seems like he's just using shoulder pressure to almost rest. He's changing his level, but it seems like he's just trying to keep Peter there until he figures it out. Uh, nice. That, and there he goes. Gets on the hips. He has a good takedown here. Uh, oh, nice elbows. Nice elbows. Peter doing a good job with strikes here. See, he's oh, got out of the hips. see it again? Up. He might bring him up. That's a lot of energy there. Oh, nice takedown. He's got out of the hips. That was a good job. Xavier wants to get Peter away from the cage. Peter's been doing a good job of, of wall walking here. He's, uh, you know, as opposed to everybody else tonight. He's done a great job of using the cage to get himself up. So if Xavier can get his hips away from the cage, maybe put him into the center, uh, he's, he's got a better chance of holding him here. Peter does need to continue that pattern and get right back up. Get his hip to the cage and start walking. So 10 seconds to go in the round. Very interesting second round there. Both guys had their moments. I don't know how to score this one. To be that was a close one. First one, I'm going to give the Peter. A second one could go either way, honestly. That slam might have done it for Peter, but again, again, we got a, we got a takedown oh, late in the round for Xavier. Peter's cut. It looks right. like the cut's underneath his eye, though, yeah, so he's, all right. he's not going to yep. get in the way of his Chick vision. Chick scars. He's got a nice, he's got a. Oh, where's Pico? Oh, he's looking for someone to wipe his eye, maybe. All right, now he's spitting. Oh, so St. Peter, you can't walk out of the cage. That's not how that works. No, no, no. So, yeah, very interesting second round there. Ali started to, you know, time him. He got a couple takedowns off. Really started to turn it up in the second round. And Pete, you know, doing a great job defensively with the wrestling. Got a, got a GD power bomb. And got, I mean, maybe the first real power straight up, bomb straight up power in mixed bomb. martial arts. Batista bomb, you know? You the know, Batista last ride. Bomb. Yeah, Batista bomb. Why not, you know? Like I said, if we can get a rock bottom in there, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna call for it. Oh, that'd be... The people's elbow? That seems like more of an attainable thing. The tombstone. That, I honestly uh, thought when he went I up, that, that the tombstone that, was coming there. Right, you got it with the last ride, The last you know? ride, that's so fine. Biker, you, if Peter Bear wins this fight for whatever reason and rides off in the sunset in a micro, on, a, on a motorcycle, we, you know, we all win as fans. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> for sure, what's going on? Oh, the doctor wants to take a look at Pete's cut. Looks is it like. The ref? Come on now. That look, is a, that is Pete not looks a, at the Pete referee and like, goes, nah, "Don't nah, do nah, nah, this, nah. man." That is not a cut. That is not a cut worthy of stopping the fight. That is not a stop. Uh, it's not a yeah, cut worthy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crowd doesn't like that. Good job. Good job on the, on the on the doctor there. Our seasoned doctor. He's been around for many, many cards. He knows what what to look at when we're looking at fights. Round three coming up could go Round either three. way. Honestly. This is a, a barn burner of, here. Very, very technical fight. A lot of mutual respect for both guys. We could say it's 1-1 one, one apiece just to be, just could to be, be even. For sure could be. Let's Great see who wants it more. Between two pros here. Oh, Ooh, nice big head, head kick. kick. Nice wow. Kick. I'd like to see him follow up. It looks like he hurt him. And he oh, goes man. to the shot and stuff. I mean, like I said, don't fix what ain't broken. He's winning this way. You know what I mean? He's not going to sit there at range with, with Peter. And when he was doing that in the first round, he found no success. Got clipped with the right hands, and the stand-up battle wasn't him for him. So he's found out he's adapted. And this is it. Peter's got to get off the cage, so he can't be complacent here. Doing a great job with the track stance. 
Ali very hunched over. There it is, if he can just get out. Use that wizard, block the hip, he's got it. Good base, good base from Peter. Ali's still going, but he's got his head between the legs, or he's got his head down. See how his, his uh, posture isn't great. If he had a straight back, that may be a little bit better. Get his leg in between Peter's, he might be able to pull the hips out. But Peter doing a great job defending here. Yeah, nice wide base there for Barrett. He just got a wide exit out of the right, on his right side. That underhook isn't, isn't too high, which shouldn't prevent him from making space here. Frame with the forearm on the left, he might be able to get up. But Ali doing a great job. Both men need to work their head position a little bit more. Almost like a resting position here. You know, I'd like to see them both kind of use a little more dirty boxing, maybe yep. to create some space. As, he say, as I said, Ali starts hitting the uppercuts. He heard me. Yep. <laughs> it's like they always do. They always <laughs> hear me. They know. Peter's got to make separation here. This is not where he's going to win this fight. Yeah, I think Peter should use that wizard a little more effectively, try to put more pressure on that, and then use his left arm to post on the head. Maybe he could start throwing some big knees. Good frame. Oh, yes. like nice frame there. And I think Pete, job, Pete's got to go to Oh, big uppercut. I think both guys got to go to work here, and they really want to take this fight. Peter needs to be throwing volume like he was before. Find yep. it, find it. Not worry about oh, the Oh, big shot. Not the big shot here. Yeah, that's what it is. Big oh. takedown. Scramble. Oh, but Good. Pete's right back Scramble. to his right feet. Back up. That was a big lift. Good job from Ali. Way to get back up from uh, from Peter. Not let himself oh, very nice. Good, good, you good. know, if there if there are any young fighters Ooh. watching at home, I think you know something that is a great takeaway from watching this fight is Pete not accepting the takedown. We right. we listened to the, we yep. talked about this earlier, but I mean he does it again. He refuses to settle. He gets right back up. Yep, yep, yep. If you know you're going to get taken down, you shouldn't accept that that position is what you big have. Big elbow. You got to right get up as soon as your hips touch the ground. If you've ever been to any kind of amateur wrestling class or team. They don't let you just get off your back. You are not allowed to have touch your back to the ground. So Peter really following that, having his wrestling coaching roots. Uh, if, if you are a young fighter and you're watching this, you should not ever get taken down and just accept being taken down. You'll see many examples of that tonight about what happens when you accept position. I like those knees to the thigh. You know, even though those don't look like a lot, they add up. They do. Ali looking like he's just trying to score here. Not really for damage, but mostly just to control. He's tired too. That last lift might have taken a lot out of him right there. That was a big lift there. Peter comes through with the combination. He's just outside his range. Ooh. There you go. You know, but I'd like to see him continue doing that. Maybe not a naked kick, set it up with the hands, but Pete is carrying his left hand real low. The neck kick's there if he can set it up with his hands. It's definitely there. I think Peter is more wary of the takedown. Now. Right. Think, oh, nice. that's a nice right hand. Pardon me, right hand. Yeah, Pete's kind of being cautious. He doesn't want to get taken down he's again. He's got to let it go a little bit, though. It's a very close fight yeah, he's got to He's got to convince these judges he wants it. He's got to push forward. Maybe even get a takedown of his own if he can. Yep, yep, yep. He's got to defend that one. Get oh, off the cage Ali. immediately. Ali again pushing him against the cage. Peter's got to get off. Ali was doing a good job with head position earlier. I'd like to see him again trying nice to get to face, better head position. Peter is more active in these clinches. That's for sure. It seems like Ali is holding for control and maybe points, and maybe he's trying to split the judges on his control time. But Peter is trying to do damage here. Yep, uh, sure. He hasn't secured a takedown this round. Ooh, that was to the spine. Peter's got to be careful with that. Again, but Peter's not going to get too... Obsessed with the strikes and the clinch, he has to make space here. This third round, space and get out. Space both and guys get out. are running out of time. I'm really not sure how to score it. Me either. Ali nice is. Leg kick. Ooh. Ali's more active in this round. He needs to start moving. There we go. Oh. Uh, I mean, he's more than one here. This he could be anyone's fight. It really comes down to volume. Who's? Oh, ten seconds left. Ten seconds, seconds left. Fight. You gotta get going. Oh. Oh, hey. there it is. Three rounds fight. in the books. Excellent fight. Very, very high level fight. These, fight. these guys, they went back and forth. Trying to hurt each other the whole time. Respect between both competitors. Very, very tough one to score. Ali, arguably, could have lost that first round. However, came back strong in the second round.
All right, and we're waiting for the scorecards. Like we said, super, super high level fight here. Both game, game opponents. And Andy ladies has and the decision. gentlemen, keep it going for these two warriors. <laughs> Judge, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Dave Ginsburg scores this contest 29 28 for Peter Barrett. What? Judge Brian Miner scores this contest 29 28 for Ali Xavier. And Judge Jason Grenier scores this fight 29 28, giving you your winner by split decision VIP Ali Xavier. Wow, and just like that. Super Ali comes up fight. with a split decision.